What is up guys, DS3TV here, and we are here to watch this video. I don't really know how to, um, I don't really know, you know, what it's about, I guess, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> um, basically, from the comment I was told is that, um, I hope that, you know, if you, like, you can watch it if you're a fan of political satire, which I actually am, because, I mean, honestly, in my opinion, I don't, I don't look at, I don't really care too much about politics that might be kind of controversial opinion but i don't really care too much about politics i'm more moderate if anything usually i do you know i sway more to the left like to left wing but definitely i'm more moderate more so than anything because i don't have a i don't really swing which way and plus i can just laugh i can laugh at both like both um you know democrats and republican stuff like in republican stuff it doesn't really bother me too much in all honesty so yeah this is gonna be pretty uh, this should be a pretty good video it's only uh it's not that long it's only like uh maybe like four minutes long so you know just gonna try just gonna watch the video it's called Eth ethno state ethno state international national national international nationalism global anti-globalism um, okay, so yeah, <laughs> that's that's what that is, and uh, yeah, I'll link the channel down below. Also, subscribe to my channel. Um, want to get a thousand subscribers by my birthday, September 13th. Um, yeah, let's get into the video. Uh, without further ado, play. As a white nationalist, I have one overarching goal. Unify my people, white people, into a racially based nation state to preserve our heritage and culture. I want to live in a world where I can look at my neighbor and know that we have a shared heritage, morality, and structure of belief. A nation where everybody <laughs> shares my color of skin. An ethno state, however. The can I can I say something and it's not going to be. T don't take this as me, you know, being mad at this video. I'm not I'm not going to be mad at this whole video. I know it's satire. So, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna point I'm just gonna point out things because eh, it's a reaction video and you probably wanted me to point out these things. <laughs> so I'm gonna say I mean I'm just gonna say it now. I mean the whole the whole world is kind of you know uh your your race. I'm just saying I'm just, might be a controversial topic. Because of years of liberal subversion, and because of the myth that different races can just get along, white consciousness has been on the decline. Most whites are unaware of, or don't even value, their heritage. It was a difficult decision, but after the recent election, I could no longer stay in a country that... He said you try, he said you try, buddy. Let its primary population get undermined, subverted, and replaced by others. I had to leave because once whites <laughs> become a minority in my country, I'll be treated as badly as I currently treat minorities now. <laughs> no thanks, see ya. Instead, I went online and connected with fellow ethno-nationalists across the globe. It was incredible. I discovered that it wasn't just me having this problem. Ethno-nationalists across the world have realized <laughs> It says Black Panther is not right. <laughs> Anti-immigration, isolationists, pro-wall, strict trade restrictions, anti-diversity, ethno-nationalists, anti-refugee, anti anti-democratic. Anti I'm gonna guess that's what this. That's what it says. And traditionalists. Okay, that's all right. I mean, hey. <laughs> that ethno-nationalism is on the decline. It deserves to be preserved. People are losing a foundational philosophy that shows them what it means to be of their race and heritage and culture. That's why we've met up and started a country of our own, where ethno-nationalists across the globe can find solidarity with one another and discuss the pressing <laughs> need for racial segregation. We call it the ethno I like how we put... <laughs> I like how you put every race in this picture and they're all separating from something they're, that's, that's the funniest part about this and he's made the ethno state state ethno state an ethno state for people who want ethno states an international <laughs> union of nationalists fascists across the globe unite and then stay unite. separate also take to leave 
He thinks that yeah. Africa is the ancestral homeland of all blacks, and that Africa should be ruled by the blacks independently. Talib knows what's up far more than any of the brainwashed whites from my homeland, and that's why he's <laughs> earned my respect, and I am proud to call him brother. Because here, I have ultimately <laughs> realized that I have far more in common with my fellow ethno-nationalists than I ever will with those degenerate soy boy whites. <laughs> you know, my friend Ahmed said something pretty funny the other day. He said, democracy? What next? My goat gets a vote too? <laughs> it's classic Ahmed. And, you know, his goat's pretty cute, actually. I mean, he also, like, lets me have some of its milk whenever I ask. So, I mean, that's pretty nice. Uh, I, I, I really do. You're losing your point, man. You're losing your point. I value him as a friend. <laughs> Is it tough fighting against the Jewish plot to destroy the West? Sure, <laughs> but... Oh, oh, sorry. I, I really shouldn't be talking like that. Our Zionist friend Zebediah doesn't really like us using that kind of language, and well, we're all just trying to be a little bit more sensitive and respectful towards You know, him. it really says something about the power of our ideas that everyone from Jorge to Abdul can agree that multiculturalism <laughs> is a failed experiment. And we've all come such a long way since moving here. When we began, we were all isolated and lonely, but now we feel this sense of solidarity for some reason. In my time here, I've even fallen in love. Akari believes that Japan should be for the Japanese. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. The conviction and courage of that woman is something I had never seen back in my homeland. <laughs> it brings a tear to my eye thinking about how she'll never be surrounded by her own people, but luckily she has us now. She has me now. And sure, <laughs> it's no white ethno state, but... Maybe the real ethno state was the friends we made along the way. Maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna just stop. Okay, so this is what I see so far. Okay. You guys, you guys looking at it? It's it. It said Joey. I see one, one said Joey. Was that Kramer? <laughs> okay. I mean, this is a lot of people. <laughs> He's trying to fix the green screen. Uh, I'm actually, I'm actually crying. Good video. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's all I can say. I mean. Honestly, like the video, I, I wasn't taking like you know I didn't take the video, the video serious at all, so it's not you know that doesn't it doesn't phase me because <laughs> I know the video is not serious at all, and plus I mean you can you can tell it's satire from how he's talking about everything, <laughs> so yeah, that's a perfectly fine video to watch, and yeah, uh, talk to you guys in the next video and peace.